Hello everyone. Welcome to Controllers Tech. This is another video in the Nextian series, and today we will see how to display animations on this display. This is going to be a very short video, and I am not going to use any microcontroller here. Here is a GIF, that I will be using in this video. You can also use this same logic for displaying gauges, or videos. Let's open this GIF with GIMP. You can see here, that we have 21 frames for this particular GIF. First of all, I will reduce the image size, so that it fits the display. I am going to display it in the vertical orientation, so 240 will be the width, and 320 is the height. So now all the frames have been scaled to this size. Let's hide all the frames except the very first one. Now export this image. I am exporting it to the JPEG format. You can use any other too, check the manual for the supported formats. Now hide the first frame, unhide the second frame, and export it too. You have to do the same for all the frames. I have already done it, and here are all the 21 frames. Let's go back to the Nextian editor. Create a new project. Choose your display here. Like I said, I am using vertical orientation. Here is our display. First of all I will add the picture element to it. Also we need to add all those pictures here. Select all of them, and hit enter. You can see the first one have the ID 0, and the last one have the ID 20. Let's add the first picture to this element. Now, in order to change the pictures, we will add a timer, and a variable. Let's write some code for the timer. Here we will load the respective number of image to the P0 element. As you can see the default value of the variable is 0, so the image with ID 0 will be loaded first. Now increment the variable's value. This will also increment the image ID, when the first statement gets executed next time, and a new image will be displayed. As we only have 21 images, so we should also limit the variable value to 20, and if the value goes higher than 20, it will be back to 0 again.
This here is the time delay between each image, and let's keep it a little less. Let's build it now. Looks like we got some error here. I shouldn't have put the space in between. Another error. No termination also. Great, it compiles successfully now. Let's debug it. This looks pretty good. Let's try to increase the time delay. This does not look satisfying at all. I am going to reduce it to the minimum value, and that is 50 in my case. Now let's upload it to the board. Here is the connection between the display and the FTDI. The blue wire is connected between the display TX and the device RX, and yellow wire is other way around. Red is with 5 volts, and back to ground. Click go to start the upload. It have started. So the upload is done, and here we have our GIF being played on the display. I will increase the time delay a little more. Let's upload again. It looks pretty sweet now. This particular display have the minimum time delay of 50 milliseconds, so it can support up to 20 frames per second. This is it for this video. You can use the same logic to make some analog gauge, or some video also. Leave comments in case of any doubt. You can download the file from the link in the description. Keep watching, and have a nice day ahead.